Hello all and welcome to Everyday Black History, where we highlight where we highlight the historical contributions and achievements of black men and women both past and present. Here we celebrate Afro appreciation, so African Americans, Africans, Afro Latinos, people, institutions, all are celebrated and honored here for their contributions toward black history. Now today we're going to be um, talking about Ellen Eglin, and she was an African American inventor in the 1800s. Now, Ellen Eglin was born in 1849 in Washington, D.C. And while living in D.C., Ellen Eglin made her living as a housekeeper and a government clerk. But in the 1800s, she invented a special type of clothes wringer, which was a machine that had two rollers in a frame that was connected to a crank. Clothes would be fed in between the two rollers, and as a crank was turned, the clothes would have the water pressed out of them. A clothes wringer was made from two wooden pins that are on top of each other with a crank attached to allow the pins to roll. Now this invention came at a time when there were not a lot of ways to wash clothes other than with your hands. Therefore, it was an amazing invention and concept that Ellen Eglin came up with. However, Ellen decided to sell her patent to who she described as a white person interested in manufacturing the product for $18. Now, $18 during that time was considered a lot of money. But in the April 1890 issue of Woman Inventor, Eglin was quoted as saying, You know, I'm a, black, I'm a black woman, and if it was known that a Negro woman patented the invention, white ladies would not want to buy the ringer. I was afraid to be known because of my color and having it introduced into the market, that was the only reason. Now, the buyer who went on to buy her invention for $18 went on to make a lot of money and receive uh, considerable financial rewards. Now, Alan Eglin later on in life, after selling her clothes wringer, she remained hopeful to patent a second device. She was funding this invention by herself and, wanting a pat and wanted a patent so that people would know that it came from a black woman. Despite wanting to exhibit the, her new invention at the Women's International Industrial Inventors Congress, she never went on to patent it. In fact, there is no information that she ever went on to create this invention that she wanted to create. But what is known is that she went on to work as a clerk in a, in a consensus office. In a census office, excuse me. But Ellen Eglin was special and that she was in a rare position as an inventor because she was one of only few African-American women inventors of her time. And she set the stage for later inventors such as Madam C.J. Walker and Sarah Boone, other individuals who we have um, episodes and we have videos on as well, highlighting their achievements. Although um, uh, Ellen Eglin's invention became very successful, um, unfortunately she didn't get to beat the financial rewards of it. But still, Ellen Eglin, we thank you for your contribution as you as an example to many uh, future African American men and, men and women that came after you. So we thank you for your contribution and we salute you. Well, that concludes this episode of uh, Everyday Black History. And we uh, have a YouTube channel and we also have a podcast that's available on Apple Podcasts and Pocket Cast. So you could tune in and subscribe and show some love. But we'll be tuning tune in with us tomorrow and we'll be highlighting many more inventors and institutions as well.